Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will see about uh, calculus notations, derivatives, limits, integrations, summation products, and uh, and many other things uh, related to calculus notations. Uh, in this tutorial, let's start with that. Let's first see uh, how to write uh, summation notations. Let's uh, write this in display mode. To write uh, summation notations, you should use the command called backslash sum and underscore n equals to zero. Use caret symbol and then define the upper boundary. Let's say 10. Next. x square is equals to 200 let's say like this uh, let's run this you can see we got uh, this summation of n equals to 0 to 10 and then x square is equals to 200 something like that similarly you can also let's see another example n equals to uh, 0 to infinity mm. x cube plus 5 similarly like this if you use uh, this command it will gives you the infinity like that uh, you can use this uh, summation similarly now let's see with the product let's see the same thing it was similar to the summation one you should use the command called uh, product instead of uh, summation let's uh, run this can see we got similarly n equals to 0 to 10 x square is equals to 200 like that you can define anything let's say another example x equals to 1 to something like this like that you can use according to the uh, equation you want to write this was the style uh, command first uh, uh, the product command then you should choose that lower one and then upper limit to where the product or summation is going to the equation and the right hand side result you can use now we will see how to write uh, limits if you see uh, you, if you want to use the limit then you should use the command called lim then underscore and you should uh, define the limit x2 uh, for uh, defining the two symbol you should use the command 2 and then x2 let's say 6 and then uh, equation let's say the equation is uh, x square plus 8 equal to 16 something like that let's run this you can see we got this limit x tends to 6 x square plus 8 equals to 16 similarly let's try with another example here let's say x2 10 x 
let's say use infinity here x2 infinity we'll get something like that then uh, next we will see with the uh, how to use uh, integrals Similarly, like how you used a uh, limit command, you should use the command for integral also that is backslash int for in then underscore and you should define the lower uh, bound 0 or well, let's say the upper bound is um, 7 lower limit and upper limit be 0 and 7 then um, let's say 5y is the equation is equals to 10 let's run this we got uh, integral 0 to 7 5y equal to 10 similarly anything let's say 0 to infinity And if you want to use double integral after this uh, defining the first integral with the limits next just use the another integral int and define the limits for that also let's say the limit for this is g on 6 run this see you got the double integral and if you don't want the limits only just the integral just use the symbol int for uh, integral don't specify any uh, limits it gives you this and if you want to define f of x equals to f of x is equals to mm, like oh, sorry f of x integral of f of x and d of x we just need to do this use the symbol integral see you get integral of f of x and dx here the problem is uh, since it is a mathematical uh, notation we won't get the space here uh, if you give space also see you didn't get so uh, to get the if you want the space here you can just use backslash space for that you will get the space if you want the space of a comma instead of space just use comma it gives a space of comma you may not notice here but uh, whereas instead before is a space of space is given now comma similarly if you want space of this backslash that you can use and it will be the space of uh, this uh, double colon like that uh, you can make use of uh, spacing between f of x and uh, d of x and then next we will see about uh, uh, derivatives d by dx uh, how to write that here here for writing d by dx you need to use a command called fraction simply dy dx just run this you'll get dy by dx but you can notice that d is also in the um, mathematical style to overcome that you need to use a command text for d a text mode in between mathematical equation this gives d in a text style just run this now hmm, sorry for this we need to use uh, include the package ams math I forgot to include yeah just run this now you will get see we got now in a D in normal text style whereas before we got in a mathematical style and then hmm, let's see about our partial derivatives 
how to write partial derivative notations similarly like how you did for this instead of uh, using uh, this text for instead of this text d you will use a command called uh, partial let's see that just copy this instead of writing again here instead of this text uh, d you will just use the command partial similarly here also partial it gives the partial d symbol for, uh, for partial derivative c dy by dx that's how you can write and let's see about uh, prime notations final thing in this tutorial uh, which is uh, f dash of x f double dash of x you will use most commonly in mathematical terms so let's see that to use f dash of x simply you can use same thing f dash of uh, x f dash of x we will get f dash of x similarly uh, if you use f double dash you will get f double dash of x and similarly triple dash also let's uh, particularly if you want any integer there you can just use a uh, caret symbol and then define that uh, what you want there f of n let's say f of n see we got f of n of uh, f power n of uh, x similarly anything instead of x you can say whatever you want let's say 2a you will get f power 2a of uh, x that's what the uh, meaning of this that's it for this tutorial we have seen limits integrals derivatives and notation prime notations uh, related to calculus in uh, math. Mm -hmm.